Hey y'all, this is Angela here. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Listen guys, continue to like, share, and subscribe. But I have a question for you ladies, especially on this episode of Older Women Teach the Younger Women. Let me ask you all a question. Are you gonna be an angry bitch all your life? Now let me tell you, when I was dating my husband, he asked me that question. We were riding in the car, let me explain it to you. We were riding in the car, he was driving, and I don't know if I was just ranting, I don't know what I was doing or saying, I have no clue, I don't even recollect. But after I finished, he looked over at me like only he could. He's always had a very calm and sweet temperament towards me, but he said it in a, in a very inquisitive, stern way, like, are you gonna be an angry bitch all your life? And then when he said that, I said to myself, I'm gonna marry this man. Now some of you all would have been mad and you would have been like, neck would have started rolling. How you gonna call me a bitch and blah, blah. But no, it, it's like he put a mirror in my face. I always knew that I was a little bitter. I knew that by the time I met him, see, I always say when I met Larry, I was at my brokenness. You understand? I was at the point, I was like a, a puzzle. I was just fractured all around. I wasn't looking for him to save me because can't no man save you ladies. I was trying to save myself. And the first way to start saving yourself, you got to see yourself. And so when he said that, it just shined a light um, really onto my situation. And so how did I become an angry bitch? Well, let me explain, because maybe this will help some of you all who are also um, angry bitches. <laughs> um, I had, when I met Larry, I was already at my lowest of low when it came to, I had already been in numerous relationships. I had already been married before. I was jaded by life. I, I was already, uh, I wasn't where I wanted to be career wise because I always felt like, at least in my mind, I wasn't. I was where I needed to be. Now that I'm looking back, I was where God wanted me and needed me to be. But I always felt like if I follow these steps, if I get the education, if I do this, 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 and this, I should be here by a certain point in my life. And so when it did not pan out that way, I started to let the disappointments of life make me a disagreeable, angry bitch. And so that's where I was at as far as with myself. Also, I didn't like myself at the time. I didn't like my weight and I let it shine. I let that, you know, I was just miserable with that. I did not like a lot of things about myself and just life jaded me. You understand what I'm saying? And so before you know it, you wake up ladies, after years have gone by of being mistreated or being in bad relationships uh, or just making poor choices because again, out of all out of my, all my relationships I've had, I will never blame the man. The man did not put me in the relationship. My first husband did not put a gun to my head and make me marry him. I made those choices. And part of healing and not being and continuing to be an angry bitch is realizing that you, many of our situations, we put ourselves in. Not all of them, not all of them, but many we have. We have to be accountable and look at ourselves. So. I was angry and jaded and it just was coming across that way. And now, even now, I have to say to myself, wait a minute, Angela, are you behaving in an angry bitch way? Because in many cases in life, we turn to what's comfortable. And for me, all those years be being that way, it's comfortable for me when things don't go my way or when I see that certain things are happening for me to res resort back to being angry and negative and cantankerous and, and short with my husband and talking crazy and slick with my mouth. You understand what I'm saying? And so ladies, w what is the takeaway here? What am I trying to say? First of all, and when I say the word bitch, don't, please don't take it the wrong way. A lot, this is, 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 is I'm being funny. But also, I'm not, because that is a terminology. I know it's not good to call a woman a bitch. A bitch is actually a female dog and blah, blah, blah. And it's just a term. But I just found it really hilarious. Let me turn my heat down, my vent. I just thought it was funny when my, when my at the time, the man I was dating, Larry, now my husband, asked me that. But some of you all who are single, you may be dealing with a man or you may have met men. And they might not just ask you that question, or how long have you been angry bitch? Some of them might just say, to themselves this is an angry bitch I'm out of here you understand so you have to question and say wait a minute is is the way I am pushing not just men away but is it pushing friendships away is it pushing jobs away you know some of you all listen good ladies if every time you start a job and then six months later you're starting a new job and it's not because of promotion but it's because of your attitude you're an angry bitch if you can never keep a man and when he tells you it's because of your attitude, but yet you keep saying, oh, you just intimidated by me. No, he's not. 
you're just an angry bitch. If your children, every time they come to you about something and they feel like they can't come to you because you're going to snap on them and act like you didn't make any mistake mistakes when you were a child, it's not that your kids are bad. It's you're an angry bitch. You understand what I'm saying? And I mean that out of all due respect and love because we all, even men, can be angry bitches. But since this is Angela, older women teach the younger, I want you to learn a lesson that I learned with my husband at the time that I was dating him when he asked that to me. He just was patient enough and probably because he was older and seasoned enough to see the diamond in the rough. He, he stuck around. But for some of you all, especially you all younger women and you're dealing with younger men, they're not going to stick around for that BS. You understand what I'm saying? So how do you stop being an angry bitch? Okay. First of all, you got to recognize that that is what you are. It doesn't define you. And matter of fact, it's not really what you are. It's how you're behaving. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, many of you all have had things and occurrences happen that is so detrimental to you are just a testament to be still alive and standing. Some of the molestations and rapes and abuses and atrocities that you have suffered at the hands of other people that was not your fault, I want to commend you. I'm not talking light of those of you who have suffered and your anger and hate and disdain is just a... Okay, I'm sorry, ladies. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Those of you all, you're cloaked in anger and pain and hurt from your abuse in your past. I'm not, I'm not judging you and I'm not blaming you and I'm not even addressing your behavior like that who I'm talking to are those of you and even those of you who may have endured atrocities that doesn't define who you are ladies I want to help you free yourself from that okay you are not your abuse and you are not your trauma and it's a damn shame that you went through what you went through but I need you to know that it's not you it's a bad situation that happened to you so the first way to deal with get overcoming and stop being an angry bitch as I say and as my husband said to me when we were dating first of all you got to recognize where the pain is coming from you got to recognize what's causing it second of all if you are unable to find the tools within yourself to deal with that pain you got to seek out help from outside sources preferably a trained therapist someone who knows someone you feel comfortable with and listen guys when you look for therapists finding the right therapist is like finding the right mate you don't have to stick with just the first one and it's okay to have criteria if you prefer a female, if you prefer uh, someone older, if you prefer someone of a certain race or culture or can speak a certain language, that's what you go with. You understand? Um, third of all, you're going to have to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Say, yes, you know what? I've been an angry bitch. Now I'm seeking some help. God, forgive me and forgive me for hurting those who I have hurt when I was behaving that way. The um, fourth is it fifth now <laughs> the fifth the next thing you need to do is if you can and if you feel it on your heart sometimes you may even have to apologize to those people that you were angry bitch too for example let's start with the people in your household let's start with your spouse you know good and well you talk crazy and slick with them i know sometimes when i get into my angry bitchdom i talk slick and crazy with my husband you understand what i'm saying i have to go back and apologize i have to apologize to my children for not being a good example if i've been crazy with them or been wrong with them so that's what you may need to do i'm not telling you in all cases because in some cases you should not go back and apologize because it could be more volatile but i'm just saying you have to use wisdom in that case and the last thing you need to do if you find yourself being an angry bitch, you have to deal with um, mechanisms. Try to find a way to deal with the, the, the stresses of life with, and um, to channel that negative energy and make it a positive situation. Listen, I know it's hard out here in this world right now, especially now ever more than ever. Stress, anxiety, worry, dread, fear, guilt, condemnation, shall I go on, <laughs> um, are all prevalent. But what I just want to say to you ladies is, it is going to impact your life. It will stop you from either getting and or maintaining relationships, friendships, jobs, anything in life. If you will keep continuing to be an angry bitch. Well, all right, ladies, I'm sorry I got cut off when I was riding in the car, but just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I want you to just examine yourself and say to yourself, wait a minute, am I? Am I really an angry bitch? And if so, what can I do to change that? Continue to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for tuning into my channel. Be blessed. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.